Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you all are. I have a world clock app on my phone and I've never used it as much in my life as I have the last two months. So um, hello to each of you and it's an honor to be here this morning. Uh, there are a few things that I want to talk about um, and Oscar covered a lot of these and did it very, very well. Um, so I'm going to piggyback a little bit on what he said. Um, my university, and I can only really speak from my experience and from those colleagues that I've talked to across the states, my university, like everyone else, had to scramble. I have been teaching online for nearly 20 years. So for me, I knew no knowledge, I knew a variety of learning management platforms. So for me to move everything over online was work, but I knew how to do it. Now, the issue with a lot of faculty here is that they've been reluctant throughout their entire career to teach online um, for a whole host of reasons. Uh, so for these folks to do it, um, it was challenging to get them trained and to get them enthusiastic to uh, participate in the classroom in such a manner. And um, from just simply learning um, the simplest of pedagogical techniques. Um, so that is, uh, it's still going to be an issue when we go back this fall face to face. Some of the challenges that I've seen here. All right. Um, not only universities, but K through 12 uh, schools were canceled and parents were expected to support teachers in the classroom and instruct online. What we're finding is that more and more uh, students who were parents simply did not have the time for their own work in class. And that was a, an issue uh, with several students that I had. Student technology and access in the States is pretty good compared to most parts of the world, I think. Uh, most have Wi-Fi access, most have their own laptops. If not, they can certainly go to a local library and get access when that was available. And my university provided laptops to students, certainly iPads, to where they could get by at least temporarily. Uh, so the technological support from uh, was there. One of the other things we have seen with an increase in dependence on online special needs students. Those students that need assistance in reading questions, understanding the questions, one of the things which I had, I had heard about had never been an issue in my classes were students who had certain, or at the, uh, we had a couple of students who have epilepsy and the flashing lights on certain screens can be a danger um, for uh, causing seizures. So that's something we had to address and that was particularly challenging. What kind of assignments are, um, how do we assess certain traditional assignments? such as presentations. How do we do that now? We have found that we upload, um, students are taking videos of themselves presenting in their bedrooms. They uh, film themselves on their phones um, and upload them uh, through assignment drop boxes. I use uh, two learning management software platforms. One is going to be Desire to Learn, the other is going to be Blackboard, and both um, provide a means of doing this. I think one of the chief challenges and the one thing that we all have to do uh, in a situation like this, maintain a constant sense of being involved in the class. Students have got to have this. And each week I sent out an individual email to all my students and that was a lot of work. But it wasn't canned. It was not canned. I said something personal to each one of them. I commented on a specific assignment they had. Usually I would applaud what they did um, well and just give them some gentle hints on how they might improve it, but they knew that I was there through those emails and frequent class announcements. What have we learned about distance learning and how can we use that to help educators and students? Well, the pivot can be done and can be done quickly. We know that. So this fall, my university is going back face to face. Um, which I don't know is a good idea or not, quite frankly. I, I am on the bubble about that. But we are expected to be able to pivot back online within 24 hours. And I think most places are going to expect that. We need to require training and online education of all faculty. 
and my university is becoming more insistent on that, which I think is a very good thing. A lot of people doubt that traditional means of assessment are possible. They are. Um, one of the things that folks are concerned about is the testing that is done online. Can students cheat? Yes, absolutely, they can cheat. Yes, but they can cheat in the classroom as well. Um, so that is an issue, and there are certain things that we can do um, to reduce that risk, but the risk is always going to be there. Uh, you need a uh, pedantic approach is going to be probably the best. You need to spell things out very specifically and structure each classroom the same way, if at all possible. Um, I open up with an introduction to what the course week is going to have, followed by the learning objectives, assigned readings and keywords and so on. And then I'll sort throw up, in addition to my lectures, um, videos to watch, uh, web pages to view, and so on. And then I will have the assignment at the end of that weekly module, be it a discussion board, a paper to submit, or a quiz. Um, what can we do about support uh, materials, teaching materials? It's going to depend on the institution and the resources they have. We are pretty fortunate here at my university. They've got an excellent electronic library and access to that. So students, um, and uh, honestly, for probably the last 10 years, we have very few students that go into the actual library itself, which to me is amazing. I still can't get beyond that because I loved as a student going into the stacks. But most of them sit in the comfort of their dormitory rooms and they pull all the sources they need. So this was not a big deal for them. But one of the things that we need to have um, and are user-friendly learning management software programs. Um, that are simple to set up for faculty and easy for students to negotiate. And online teaching materials here, we are finding, we are fortunate, um, all major publishers now, um, in addition to print texts, which are becoming less and less popular, uh, we're going to online and e-copies anyway. So that is something that is not a major challenge for us.